Hey guys, welcome to On the Couch with Fouch. I'm the host, Matt Fouch, and if you guys would do me a huge favor, go to mattfouch.com. If you've enjoyed these interviews, go ahead and put your email address in there so that you'll get the emails every month when I release a brand new interview. But today I have the great opportunity of interviewing Daniel Riley. Daniel, thanks so much for joining me, man. Hey, I'm glad to now, be here. A lot of people call you Danny, and I called you Daniel just there, so which do you prefer? I'm Danny. Okay, Danny. Yeah, that's Sorry. I'm, I'm interviewing Danny Riley today. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't mind Daniel, but I go by Danny. Okay. Well, this is Danny, and Danny is the lead singer for Gold City, right? Or do you do baritone, baritone now? Yep. Okay. So, a lot of the questions that came in um, when I put out there that I was going to be interviewing you was about, you know, kind of about the history of Gold City and where it came from. Why is it called Gold City? And and then obviously. Questions about your dad. Sure. Tim. Yeah. So uh, go ahead and just start with where the name came from, kind of some of the guys that have been in the group over the years, just for those that maybe don't know the history. Sure. Well, Gold City started in 1980. A gentleman named Floyd Beck started the group. He didn't sing. He was a wealthy man and loved gospel music. And uh, everybody that, that sang back then knew Floyd. But he wanted to put a group together, so he did. He was in Dahlonega, Georgia. And um, that's known as the Gold City. Right. And um, a lot of people think the name is about heaven and, and that kind of thing. Right. But, but uh, there was a gold rush there, and it was known as the Gold City. Still is. So that's where the Gold City Quartet came from. So Dahlonega's nickname as a city is the Gold City. The Gold City. So they were the Gold City Quartet. And, um, you know, over the first few years, you know, they spent a lot of time getting started and um, you know, it, it, I mean, you can look at the history, it, it's been a blessed thing, but, um, along about, uh, 1981, you know, Ivan came and Brian came and, um, that's, you know, that's where they really started building momentum. Right. 1984, Floyd Beck passed away and, um, those guys, you know, wanted to carry the group on. My dad relocated to his home, our home, Gaston, Alabama. Okay. And um, so that's that's where we're based out of now. But, um, you know, the years with Ivan and Brian, Jerry Ritchie in those early days, and then, yeah. then a Mike LaFever came, and uh, that was, uh, you know, that's where everything started rolling. Right. And, uh, of course, then Steve Lacey replaced Mike LaFever, and uh, that group was – was incredible and then uh, after that of course when those guys moved on and started their own thing um, you had Mark Trammell and Jay Parrick and Jonathan Wilburn and uh, that was you know that was a big deal as yeah. well well and a lot of people when they when they hear the name Gold City Quartet excuse me they think about either one of those two mm -hmm. either that time in the 80s you're talking about with Ivan and Brian and Mike or right. they think about like me when I hear Gold City, I think about the nineties right. with with, uh, with Mark, and, Mark Jay and, and Jonathan, Jay and Jonathan, and so yeah. it's it's just very interesting to think that man. I mean, it's kind of like the cathedrals in a way where when you say the cathedrals or the cathedral quartet, people either think of you have your you know, a certain era kind yeah. of, and that's really neat that your guys's group has eras mm -hmm. of, of 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 good, great, well, great singing. And so that, that's really neat to have that kind of a, a history and continuing oh, yeah. that today. Absolutely. And um, it's it's an honor, it's a privilege to be able to carry it on, but it's also a lot of pressure. Right. You Absolutely, know, yeah. There's a huge heritage legacy that you feel pressure to, to keep up, you know. But, um, you know, I, we just do what we do. And... Uh, God blesses us, and we, we just continue on. Right. Well, speaking of that legacy, there was a lot of you guys that submitted questions about Tim Riley, your dad. Oh, yeah. And so Bill, uh, I'm sorry, Evelyn McDonald would like to know, is your dad still a big part of what you guys do, or has he kind of stepped back right now? He, You know, he pretty much stepped back. He, he is, um, you know, he did this for 52 years. Yeah. And um, he... Honestly, he, he just wanted to, I mean, he don't want the stress, you know, the mm -hmm. dealing with the day-to-day -day things. Um, he is a huge part of the group in terms of being an encourager, 
mm-hmm. you know, being a great source for me, you know, I mean, I've got a, a great teacher. Right. And uh, so in that respect, he's still a huge part of the group. But, you know, he's hanging out these days. He's and what, what's, he, what's, he, what's his day kind of consist of now so that know, folks kind of get an idea? When people, 52 years of working yeah. and traveling on a bus all the time. What does someone go home and do? Well, here's the thing. I, I, you know, I don't know if it's like this everywhere, but, you know, when you get older and you retire, apparently, the thing to do among men is to gather at the local breakfast spot <laughs> and drink coffee and talk about their ailments. <laughs> so, so my dad, you know, several days a week, he'll go with his buddies down to a place called Jack's. It's like a, you know, it's kind of like a Hardee's or something like yeah. that. And they sit in there and drink coffee and gossip. <laughs> they you, talk about their ailments. Say, now, do you, you know? think he's sharing stories of stuff that's happened on the road over the years? With those oh, guys? I'm sure. I'm sure. I say that's probably his his sugar stick. That's the go to oh, for yeah. when he's when they're getting into stories for that sure. kind of situation. But you know he's been there all his life. These are guys that he grew up with, and so uh, you know they talk. Dad was in Vietnam. He's got a couple of guys that he was in Vietnam with. You know, and they they share stories. But um, you know, we live. I live across the street from him. Okay. And uh, so my kids are always going over there and, you know, yeah. he's just being a granddad and he's doing all, the, doing all this stuff that he kind of, you know, a lot of, he didn't get a lot of time to do right. throughout those 52 years. Oh, absolutely. Years. You yeah. know, he's got time with my kids, you know, I mean, I had time with my dad, but you yeah. know, he, he's did this all my life. So I think it's awesome that they get to spend time. That's so cool. I'm sure he's enjoying every. My grandparents died when I was really young. So, um, I just think it's awesome that my kids get to spend time with them, you know. And it's memories that they'll have oh, absolutely. for a lifetime. Absolutely. That's awesome. Donna Wines would like to know, what's the best and the hardest part about being on the road? Well, you know, I don't. the best part about being on the road is from about uh, 6 o'clock in the evening till 9 or 10 o'clock when we do yeah. what we do. Absolutely. I tell people yeah. that... Uh, we don't get paid to sing. We get paid to do everything else. We get paid to haul gear and yeah, set up sound and, and and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But but the that fun you know, part is that time when you're on stage. Absolutely, that's that's you know why we do what we do. Being on the road and being away from your family and all that kind of stuff. You know that's the hard part. Yeah. So there you go. That's it. Uh, John Croy would like to know. Out of all the vocalists in Gold City's history, which is your favorite besides your dad? You can't choose your dad, so which one is going to be your favorite? Mm. Kind of puts you on the spot there. Yes, it does. Because you never know. Some of these guys might actually be watching this interview, and or someone might be watching, and next time they see him, they're going to say, did you know that Danny said that you're not his favorite guy that's ever been in Gold yeah, City? for real. Oh. <laughs> uh. This is this is not intended in yeah, that way at all. Have just to edit some fun. space out right here. <laughs> no, uh, you know I ran sound for Gold City for about six years before I started singing. So um, in that era, I, I would have to say that this may surprise some of you, but but Jay was I always loved his singing. He was consistent. He uh, from night to night. You know, all of them were, but he was like. He was dead on all mm-hmm. the, all that time, and you know me and Jay just you know hit. I don't know. We were just got along well. Yeah, cool. Um, I didn't get along with anybody else. <laughs> what <laughs> you know? I mean, here's the fact of the matter: is that it doesn't matter in what career, no matter what you choose, there are going to be people you work with that you get along better. Oh yeah. Than with someone else because it's just characteristically. Sure. You and I may not get along characteristically. We may be totally different people. We may not want to sit down and chat. Yeah. You know, outside of when we see each other and just talk a little bit. Yeah, and say, don't hey. have anything about liking you or not liking. Right. You. Yeah. I, just, li- I like you fine, but I, we may not want to go fish with each other right. or go to a game with each other because sure. we may not match. And that's and that's the way that life is. You find people that you just you like them. Mm-hmm. They're good people. You enjoy talking to them, but you just character 
char- uh, characteristically, you just don't you don't yeah. mesh. And there are other people that you mesh well. Sure. With so. absolutely. And you find that on on buses too. Absolutely. When you get five, six, seven people on a bus, you're gonna find somebody. It's not that you don't like each other, it, but it, y'all. You, I guess the way to word it is, you have similar interest with some people. Sure. And some people you, you don't can sit have down the same and, and have a a day long conversation with yeah. some and others it's a struggle to yeah you know because you just don't we have in common music right and then outside of that you know everybody has different, different you may like fishing hunting all that kind of stuff i don't like fishing and hunting i don't either right. you know i like i like going to the gym and playing basketball now someone like i'm talking that. to that, li- that likes to fish and hunt and don't like going to the gym playing basketball would be yeah. like so, how'd y'all set go tonight? Yeah. You know, it ain't, yeah. it ain't no thing. It is just, it's yeah. just the way that it is. Absolutely. Um, Lynn and Griggs would like to know, and let me preface this question with, any of you that follow Gold City on Facebook know that they do, they do this thing called um, Gold City Live. Is yeah. that what you guys call well, it? Well, we call it Live with the City. Live with the City. My brother Sorry. always called us the City. Okay. He's like, you know. And that's kind of where that came from. But. So they do this, and one of the the couple that I've actually been a, you know been able to watch um, seems like Brian Elliott is kind of the I don't know the word to use. So yeah. he, he gets a lot of. Uh, anyways, let me just ask the question: <laughs> uh, How do you put up from Lynn? Thank you, Lynn. How do you put up with Brian Elliott? You know that that I you, mean, you you just take this however that, wherever you want to well, go. Well, I mean, with it. It, it's a challenge. You know, there's a big age gap, and you know, I found that the older I get, the it's harder to tolerate some things. I love Brian. He's been with us for six years, mm-hmm. and he's entertaining. How do I put up with him? I just do. I mean, what <laughs> choice do I have? Yeah. <laughs> no, Brian. Brian's a lot of fun. He's a strange little man strange little man y'all pick on him a lot and i actually interviewed chris uh, and and he he mentioned that y'all had uh, i don't want to give it away so you can watch it but y'all have done some things to him that has uh, made him very happy and i say that in a sarcastic way oh absolutely the funniest thing we did to him is is we ordered a, a roll of industrial plastic wrap and we we turned him into a, it was funny. We just, we just stood him up. Did y'all do a video of that by him. chance? You know what? We did, but it was darker and you could, you could oh, see it. Oh, that's a bummer. We but it was great. You stand did. him up and then you just go. And he, he has no way. <laughs> kind of mummified him. That is like totally just... mean, but it was hilarious. Um, give me your best Ivan Parker Im- impression or impersonation. Wow. How do you do Ivan Parker? I'm putting you on the spot, man. Man, you are. I I can't do Ivan. I oh. mean You heard him sing all those years. Yeah. And you sing a I mean, you have a comparable range to him. I mean, y'all singing the same sing this about the same well, range. I mean, I'm, and, I'm gonna totally blow it if I try to do Ivan, you know. I I'm sorry. I hate to let you down. I don't even know where to start with that. I could have worked on it. Well, you, you practice it. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for the Fouch Zone. Since you're not going to give me the impersonation of Ivan, I'm going to take you to the Fouch Zone where you're going to have, hopefully, a good time. But we'll see what ends up happening. You have a certain unspecified amount of time to answer these questions. If you don't okay. get the answer in the amount of time, I go to the next question. Name one word that rhymes with orange. Uh, okay. Okay does not rhyme with orange. Yeah, no, well, no. Next. <laughs> can, can you lick your elbow? Yes. Time. How many dimples are on a golf ball? Time. Are there are there more cars in Southern California or cows in India? Time. Uh, and how many millionaires are in the U.S.? Uh, 400. Okay. <laughs> okay, so name one word that rhymes with orange. I have no idea. Uh, I'm... I have, I have no idea. There isn't a word that rhymes okay, with orange. Okay, there you go. Good job. That's why I couldn't <laughs> think of right. one. <laughs> Trick question. Can you lick your elbow? You said yes, so I want to see you do it. Uh, let me go back and say no. <laughs> no. You can't get there. No. 
uh, how many dimples are on a golf ball? And I timed you, but you actually were saying 300. Yeah. And you were close. It's 336. Wow. Wild guess. Are there more cars in Southern California or cows in India? And you didn't get a... I didn't get it, but I would have to say cows in India. There are more cars in Southern California really? than there are cows because in India. Because India, don't they... Like, they got the, the Hindu thing going something. on. They come back as yeah, yeah. something weird like that. But oh, well. yeah. And the last one was, how many millionaires are in the U.S.? And your <laughs> answer was 400. I'm thinking we might have a few more than that. Would you like another try? Uh, 1,200. There are approximately 2 million millionaires. You're in kidding the US. me. Nope. I, I, don't, I don't really live in that world, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> 2 million of them. Wow. We need to meet some of those, right? Absolutely. Do any of them like Southern Gospel music? Well, I would say there's some, for yeah. sure. And, and maybe they're watching. So. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks so much for joining us for On the Couch with Fouch. D uh, Danny, tell them where they, can, uh, where they can watch live with the city and, yeah. and catch up with your guys' schedule and all that. Well, the central location is to go to goldcityqt.com. Okay. And uh, you can go to our face I mean, you can search gold city on facebook but you know you can get to everywhere from our website goldcityqt.com and definitely watch live with the city yeah or the city live whatever you know what there's no agenda yeah it's just uh, some nights it's boring some nights it, it maybe goes a little over the edge so never know it's like a train wreck yes you just, very you much. just can't stop watching sometimes right yeah Thanks for joining me, man. I appreciate I it. it. God bless you. And thank you all so much for watching. Go to mattfouch.com. Get the emails so that you know every month when a new interview with your favorite Southern Gospel artist releases. Thanks so much.